Hey guys, welcome back to Mom's World Goals. So today I'm going to be giving you my honest thoughts and opinions on Summer McKinney, the goalie of 2025, who was not released in 2025. Which, yeah, is really weird because that kind of defeats the purpose of the goal of the year line. I understand they are trying to get you to buy it before Christmas, but it just is, seems pointless to me. So she is into baking and she also is into dogs. And so let's look at her collection. So Summer McKinney has an Anaya mold. She is a white Caucasian doll. She has blonde hair, blue eyes, two braids in her hair, and pink streaks in her hair. And she is very cute. I do think they should have done a doll of color again, but oh well. She is very cute. I'm glad we're getting a light skin Nanea mold. That's really cool. I like her hair. I like the pink in it very much. As you know, I love dolls with colored hair. I like that her um, hair comes in braids. I think that's really cute. Um, overall, I think she is a very cute doll, but she could have definitely been more unique, more diverse. So overall, she is pretty, but I wish she was a doll of color. This is her meat outfit. I think the dress is really cute, although I wish it was a shirt and pants so it would come with more pieces. I think the shoes are really cute, but I literally already have those shoes because they have already been released for American Girl, so uh, what the heck. Um, the glasses are really cute. I love that we finally get another doll that comes with glasses because we only had Molly, and now we finally have more representation for people with glasses. Two bracelets, really cute, and then her book, which... Why are we doing journals instead of books? We'll talk more about that later. Overall, it's a cute mean outfit. Could be better, but it is overall cute. I just don't understand why they reuse the exact same pair of shoes that they already had. Now we are going to talk about that journal. So, Pleasant Rowland's entire plan for American Girl was to teach girls about history through literature. So why are they abandoning that and just giving us these bullet journals that literally have just bullet points of their story instead of an actual novel that we can connect with the character through their story. Like, this is completely pointless and lazy. The novel no longer comes with the doll. You have to buy that separately and it comes out like a year later. I know I'm complaining, but like, this completely betrays Pleasant Woolen's entire idea and vision for the brand and I don't like it. These are Summer's accessories. It comes with a little purse of her dog, some treats for her dog, ice cream and more bracelets, and a headband. I think that the dog purse is really cute. That's the only reason I personally would buy the accessory set. Uh, it looks adorable on her, and I think the accessories are worth it for the bag. I think it's really cute to have a bag of her dog, and everything else I wouldn't pay for it, but yeah, the bag is cute. Next we have Summer's Treat Cart for 18 inch dolls. This is really cute, comes with a lot of stuff, um, and I think it's very versatile. I am sad that this is all we're getting for her big ticket item, but it is still cute. Probably won't be buying it again, but it's cute. This is Summer's dog, very very cute. Looks basically just like Coconut. Basically they took Coconut and give him a different name. I think they could have been a little more creative, but he comes with this cute little leash and a little jacket. I think he's adorable. This is one of her outfits. It's like her dog walking outfit. Very, very cute. I like the puffer jacket. I like the skirt. I like the, the shoes and the socks. Overall, I think it's really cute. I could very easily see myself buying this outfit. Then we have Summer's Bake Sale outfit, very cute. I love this outfit so much. The skirt, the cupcake shirt, the shoes, the headband, all of it works together so well. It's adorable. I will definitely be buying this outfit. This is one of my favorite outfits in her collection. Then we have her baking accessories, very cute. I love the dog cookies and the apron. The blender I heard actually works, which is adorable. This is great for your dollhouse. I would say this is worth it. I'm thinking about buying this. I'm not sure yet, but it's absolutely adorable and I'm glad it's in her collection. This is Summer's kitchen set. Absolutely adorable. It comes with a lot of stuff. Again, that's something I like about her collection is it seems to come with a lot of stuff. Uh, I won't be needing a kitchen for my dolls. I already have one, so I won't be purchasing this, but this is a good option if you need one. Uh, I like the colors. Um, not much to say about it. It's cute. 
This is Summer's cat fettuccine, very cute. She comes with a little bow in her hair and she comes with a backpack that you can actually put her in. That's adorable, I think this is more worth it for the backpack, but fettuccine is cute too. Now we have my favorite item in her collection, this adorable onesie and little bear slippers. It's rainbow, fuzzy, it has stars on it. This is just absolutely adorable on her. She looks so cute and I would definitely be buying this. This is my favorite item in her collection. If you get one thing from her collection, get this. Now we have Summer's sleeping bag, and it comes with a stuffed animal dog. Very adorable. It's giving Lisa Fank vibes. I absolutely love that because I love Lisa Fank. She looks adorable laying in bed, and it's just really cute. I definitely think that this is a cute thing to add. Here is the matching sleep set for humans, and I believe this is a two-piece and not a onesie for some reason, but here it is. Here is the pet bed. You can use it for the cat or the dog. I think this is absolutely adorable if you get one of the pets or if you just have American Girl Pets in general. I would say get this so that you can take care of them. It sits nicely in it and it's just really, really cute to put your pets in. Finally, we have the like, collection bundle thing that they like to do and here is what it comes with. This is probably really expensive, but I think it is good to get started with summer. So those are my thoughts on Summer McKinney, the girl of the year for 2025, who was not released in 2025. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below your thoughts. Let me know if you're getting her. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.